Greetings, Internet. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about um, monk quests. Uh, cool little quest for newbie XR monks to get some cool easy on. Not easy, but to get some armor early on. Because, I mean, this game, it's kind of hard to acquire armor, especially earlier levels. So um, this quest, it, it's actually it's a big pain in the ass, but um, it's doable at about level 5 and you have the potential to get a whole set, like 10 pieces of um, armor from this quest. Um, be it monk specific, so sorry if you're not playing a monk, but yeah, uh, let's get into it. So, run into the Courtyard of Pain, that's the, the monk guild, obviously, if you're a monk, you'd know what that was. Um, come up to Master Bane and hail him, and he says, uh, Welcome, who has sent you to me? Um, you write, Master Glocks sent me. You must be new to the court. We are of the Swift Tail Clan, as are you. Under the guidance of masters such as I, you will forge your body into a weapon of pure destruction. Do not bother the Grand Master. He is in constant meditation and is bothered with only the most paramount of concerns. Are you ready to train? You say, I am ready to train. Then I can offer you training in the martial arts as well as other skills. Please remember to obtain knowledge from our court chronicler. You shall also begin to aid your brothers and sisters with menial tasks. All begin upon the rung of dust, and all have done these tasks in order to climb to the next rung. What menial tasks? We have a few menial tasks we require our young members to perform. Young members must tailor training bags for our court. And you say, I will tailor training bags bags. Then take this leech husk pouch and fill it with the obvious. Once done, combine the skins and take the full leech husk pouch to our local tailor by the name of Clock McGruck. He is the one who cleans and toughens the husk for us. He shall hand you a ready-made training bag husk. He will instruct you further. So, he's given me this bag here. It's got four slots. I've already got the four leech husks, so you take them. I'll show you where to get them later in the video. Take them, combine that, you get the full pouch of leech husks. Leech husks, sorry. Run out here, out the door, into this building, the Haggle Baron. And right here, this guy, Clock McGruck. You can hail him and talk to him, but. He has a quest for some uh, caster silk armor that's not quite related. I mean, you could do that too if you want, but just give him the bag. He says, I see you have done hunting, young broodling. I shall prepare the husks later, as for now you can have this training bag husk I've already prepared. You will require a sewing kit, but I'm sure you already have one. You will next have to seek out granite pebbles. Where you shall find them in Kabbalas is unknown to me. When you obtain no less than three piles of granite pebbles, you can tailor a monk training bag for your cast. Good luck. So, he's given me this training husk bag. Um, I do already have a sewing kit, so I'm just going to put that in there for now. But I'll show you where to get a sewing kit right now. So, you just run out here, go across this little bridge, uh, all the way over through here. This is kind of like the, the trade skilling area of Kabbalist, of East Kabbalist. Run across this bridge, <clears throat> over to the right, and then these two here, um, I think the guy, they both sell, one, this guy on the right sells a small sewing bag, but this guy sells the, the large ones, and they cost like a platinum. So, buy that up, actually, look at that, he, um, he has some, did I see that? He has three leech, tus uh, leech husks, and they're only five silver, I'll, I'll buy them, that saves me, you know farming them that's that's pretty cool so hey that's another thing to keep an eye out for you can actually buy um some of the components for these quests anyway keep moving on so granite pebbles um i'll just cut it's it's up a, fur, a bit away so i'll cut to that so this is the bank cabalist bank from here uh run down past these guys and then to the left and we're looking for the toil master now he can be in one of two places. He can He's usually in here with a bunch of froglock slaves. But if he's not there, he should be in here. Yeah, right there. That's There he is. Okay, so. Hail him. 
Do not bother me unless you wish to join the chain gang. Now go away or I shall have my slaves chop you as they chop this granite. You say, I need granite pebbles. Ah, looking for granite pebbles, are we? You must be a swift tail. I am tired of doing your cast's work when you give us nothing in return. Tell you what, I have lost many slaves to escape. If you bash their heads in with your many skills and return at least two busted froglock shackles, I will give you one pile of granite pebbles. So, we need to give him a bunch of these, two at a time. And his response is, a deal's a deal. Here, take one pile of granite pebbles. I hope you need it more because I know where, uh, <clears throat> there are more escaped froglock slaves. Cool. So we have our three granite pebbles. Now we take them and we put them, stacks of one, in the sewing kit with the training husk bag and we hit combine. Now this gives us uh, a monk training bag. Now, a word of caution. Don't... Go and farm up a whole bunch of mats and then, because I had this idea, I was like, oh, I'll farm up a bunch and then I'll just create a whole bunch and then I'll go and hand in like three at once, you know, just because I, I guess that's how I do shit. All the items you create are law. So what law means is you can only have one of them. So I'd gone and I'd made a leech husk pouch and I combined it and then I went and got another little bag and then I went to combine another leech husk pouch and because I already had one it just destroyed it because it's a lore item anyway so that keep that in mind just do this one at a time so with my monk training bag go back to master bane don't go to clock mcgruck that's a common confusion if you give that to him he'll just eat it and you'll lose it hand it over to this guy bam we thank you, monk, young monk. In exchange for your prompt service, please accept this piece of training armor. Please continue with your training. And you get uh, a random piece of sparring armor. So this one's for the neck. Unfortunately, I didn't really need the neck because I have a better neck. Um, but yeah, there are nine, oh no, ten pieces um, to this set. And you randomly get one each time. Um, which is a bit unfortunate because there are only a few that I specifically want. Like I want the legs, the boots, the hat. I already have the arms and the shawl. So this is the third time I've done it. But yeah, it's great armor. Uh, very low weight. And each one, or most of them have a few stats. But, you know, some of them only have like like this knit sparring collar here. It's like, you know, two, two cold plus uh, resist to cold. Which is pff, whatever at this level. Who cares? So... Um, yeah, there you have it. That's monk sparring armor. I mean, yeah, you, if you are doing die, die straights to get armor, you can do this. Um, you can start it at like level five. Um, in a second, I'll cut to show you where to actually get the, the components, like the leech husks and the escape frog lock, um, shackles. But I mean, I do this because yeah, you in Kabbalist, you're very, you, you, in the middle of nowhere, you're pretty secluded compared to the rest of the world. So it's hard to get, you know, decent armor, unless you run all the way to East Common Lands, which I will end up doing. But um, yeah, if, if you're just kind of want to wing it out in Kabbalist for a while and you uh, need some armor, this is a pretty good way to get it. So yeah, I'm going to cut now to show you where to get the leech husks and the escape frog look slaves. All right, so uh, when I first did this attempted this quest i was like level four or five um and you can get leech husks in ac actually in east cabalus um i believe this is the the shaman and shadow knight guild or something anyway it's right near the entrance to east cabalus you come in here go through this little red thing hook a left um go all the way down these uh there's like four or so of these jump down all of them uh, and then so you get to here go right left again obviously because it's the only way keep going straight here uh, you'll know you're in the right place because the walls change color to kind of bricks um, and then you'll end up in a room like this uh, and it's don't you know obviously be careful because there's a giant pit here so um, down there is a massive maze which actually has a bunch of uh, leech leeches scorpions Mosquitoes and uh, decaying skeletons. Pretty much everything in there is either level one or two. So, um, but the trick is, 
uh, the falling damage you'll take to get down there at level one or two is like 95 health. Uh, most level one or twos don't have that much health, so you, you got to be really careful because you can kill yourself getting down there. Um, what I do is come to this corner and kind of try and jump over here. So I only took 33 damage there. I do have safe fall at the moment though, and I'm like level eight right now. So, but yeah, so once you're down here, um, yeah, you can start kind of farming and like kill this shit. Like, um, yeah. And it's most probably gonna, they, you know, shit runs after 10%. Luckily I killed it before it ran, but it'll run down here. And I don't know if it's just because I have lag, but oh, shit is really hard to kill when it runs in here. Anyway. Hey, look, there's another guy. And there, so there's my leech husk. Okay, so. Come in here. Oh, where do I go? It's a dead end. Alright, so this wall here with the, the symbol. Run through there. But, uh, I mean, make sure, if you want to just farm up in that area, just sit there and farm them and wait for respawns, you can. But, before you move through, I mean, kind of make sure you, you're ready to, because this is a one-way wall. Alright. So now, where do we go? Uh, run through here. You can kill everything. All these, I'm pretty sure most of them, uh, leeches can spawn at, especially these two right here. So you can kill kill away, uh, farm in here. So when you want to actually get out, I'll show you. <laughs> this is a this this is classic troll ass EverQuest. Um, so look, this guy he's stuck too. So to the left, uh, or to the f straight ahead, there's a dead end. To the right, there's a pitfall. And to the left, you're like, oh, well, let's go that way. So that's what I did the first time I came in here. But there's actually a trap floor right there, invisible floor. You fall down, you're going to die. So where do I go? I can't go right. I'll fall down there and die. So you go straight. But no, there's another trap floor straight ahead. So where do I go? So you go over here and you hook a left. And right here, there's an invisible wall. Um, and yeah, so you come out here. I wonder if that guy, does he know? I'll just see what he does. No, he's not paying attention. Anyway. So there's your little invisible wall. That's how you get around here. Don't go the other two because you'll fall down and die. You'll fall down this same hole. And unless unless you have like 200 hit points to survive the fall, you're going to die. All right. Now we come up. Oh, bit of lag. We come up here. Come into this room. I guess kill the decaying skeletons because they're going to aggro you anyway. Come through here. All right. Now, see that? I just came through there. And that's a one-way wall. I couldn't see it from that side, but you can see it from this side. Now I can't go back through. And this place is surrounded by those. Um, I'm just going to kill this guy because it can't hurt to have as many leech husks if you're trying to get a whole set of this armor. Yay, another one. Sweet. All right. So now, oh, shit, I can't even remember where to go. So you, uh, you go this way. Okay, now here. Both this left and right, you can see if I put my camera to behind... You can see they're both um, invisible walls. Hey, there's another guy. I've never actually seen anyone in here before. Oh, that's a... Must be doing shit in here. Anyway. Um, so, I believe you hook a right. I hope. I really hope. Um, I'm just kind of winging it here. It's been a while since I came in here. Kill another hit leech. No husk. Bear. Sucks. Okay. Uh, come in here. Another wall. And then if you go down here and then to the right yeah there we go all right so this little pit here leads into some water jump down here hook a right and this is your way out um there are some fish yeah these things uh if you ever need to know the way to get out um these things always seem to swim in the direction of the exit no i've never seen them swim the opposite way so I don't know if it's... Oh, there we go. You just turned around. Yeah, well, most of the time, they're swimming outwards. Um, if you need a little air pocket, there's these little air pockets, but you should have enough breath to last you. And, yeah, you just swim out, and you come out here. And, bam, we're out the front of where we entered. Somewhere here. It's somewhere around here. Actually, it's over there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's over to the right. I thought it was just there, but it's not. Um, and that's the monk guild right there. And there's a ladder um, somewhere over here that you climb up. Anyway, so that's um, one way to get the leech husks. Uh, mind you, it's probably... You, you actually don't have to do um, that way. There is a much easier way to get them. Um, 
but you know if you want to go down there it's pretty good it's safe is i guess one reason if you can manage the labyrinth without falling down and dying you, you're not at risk of any high level mobs wandering through and trashing you because everything there is like level two um so that's one reason to go in there but like i said you know there's a lot of pitfalls a lot of traps and yeah that's i guess one of the dangers anyway i'm going to cut to now the other place this is the swamp of no hope right in front of the water's edge uh a whole bunch there are a whole bunch of leeches that same level uh just swamp leeches and giant swamp leeches are the two that drop the leech husks the only problem with this place is you've got to be really really careful because even this close to the to the city like these you know this is like a level one to two to three stomping ground um and you'd figure oh yeah it should be safe for you know someone that's not level 20 but random level 20 or so mobs will stroll through here that aggro you and they'll kill you in one or two hits it's very frustrating so you have to keep you have to be very very cautious keep an eye out for like everything at all times just constantly be looking at stuff and conning it to see you know if it's red or not so anyway like as you can see swamp leeches you can farm them up here and the escape froglock slave shackles uh drop in this zone as well um you most probably i started doing this at like four or five but to be honest i had a really hard time um because the the escape froglock slaves i think are from between levels three and six i believe um i think once i was seven it became it was a lot easier so anyway i guess yeah so you, you want to start just run over here to the right kill any froglock skippers uh fishes tads any you find they're all pretty much placeholders for the slaves but um the slaves spawn in a few specific locations and i'll show you um where those are in a sec as soon as i get rid of these annoyances another thing you want to kind of watch out for as a monk you want to kill these skippers and they drop sometimes they drop skipping stones now, see, I've farmed this place so much that I actually have 14 of these. Um, they're good for two reasons. Uh, one, you need one for your sh one of your shackle quests. Um, and the other is they have a range of 200, which is massive. My normal shurikens, they only have a range of 60. So if you um, kind of want to pull from a safe range, you can, like, like, I could pull this guy from here with a skipping stone easily. But, um... So keep that in mind. That's what I kind of used them for when I was farming. Yeah, anyway, see where this fissure is right here? This is along here. There's three spawns for escaped slaves just along this ridge. And this is probably when you're a lower level up here is probably the safest place to farm the slaves. But you, you do have to watch out because there still are like XR manslayers and marauders. And then there's random level 20 frog locks. They're called like tuck warriors and giz shamans that will wander through. And all of these things are like level 20 and they, they, they're, uh, they aggro to everyone and they'll just wreck you. So again, just constantly be looking out for stuff like that. So yeah, straight ahead where I'm looking, a whole bunch of spawns down to the left. It, that's the kind of island. I'm just keep an eye out for these things. Anyway, uh, over here, this island here is kind of the lowest level island I would say in this zone. So if you're going to go on any islands, um, so you're going to cross the water to actually go to another body of land, this is the only one you should be going on, unless you're, like, over level 10. Um, and there's a few spawns along this road uh, to look out for. There's one other area you can go to find them. Oh, shit. Look at this. See, this guy's going to kill me. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Look at that. Look, he's three hits. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, so annoying. So embarrassing while I'm filming and everything. <laughs> ah, all right, so there you go. Classic example of why you should always uh, keep a lookout for uh, high-level shit that's going to come and wreck you. Um, I've just dragged my corpse up back towards Cabalus. Um, and I'll finally show you, before I let you go, um, the other places to get the froglock slaves. Um, so that's Cabalus up there. If you're running out and you turn left and run along this wall um whole bunch down this road but you gotta see right there that guy on the road that's a froglock took knight he's he's red he's like level 20 
um, and they're fairly common along here. So, I mean, I've had more success finding the slaves along here because they can be like they spawn like all along these trees and all along the road and then all along the the shoreline as well. Um, but there's also more dangers I find that that kind of patrol through here, and because the trees are so dense, it really doesn't help like you you know, looking out for the high level stuff because you just can't see through the trees. And then the next thing, like just what happened with that XR Pariah just then, like I didn't see him through the trees and then the next minute I was dead in three hits. So yeah, there we go. I finally found one. So just down here, um, there he is this, he's actually walking past this tad right now. Um, yeah, use your throwing weapons and whatever to kind of pull them back. You never really want to fight them down there. So it is, it's quite annoying because, I mean, yeah, they are fairly rare. Their spawn timer is about 10 minutes and they're not a guaranteed spawn. Like I said before, there's, there's other mobs on their spawn table. Um, and you need six, uh, six of them per, um, piece of armor. So, but the good thing, one good thing about it is they will 100% drop the shackle, um, every time. Come on, you can do it. There we go, cool. So there we go, there's one out of six. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much the monk armor. Um, if that's not your kind of thing, like doing this uh, farming in here, because it is, it does kind of get on your nerves, especially when you just roundly die to high level mobs. Like, look down there, there's a big sub brigand, red. Awesome. <laughs> um, if this isn't your kind of thing, there is another way you can kind of start working towards armor. Uh, once you hit about pretty much eight through 10, go out into the field of bone and you can start farming spider silk, not spiderling silk like you saw in my previous video, but actual spider silk from big spiders. Um, start saving that stuff up because uh, a very good early set of um, monk armor is cured silk. Now I have the, the chest piece already that I bought from someone. But um, if you know of any tailors or I think they usually will, if you provide them the silk, they'll they'll create the armor for you for free um, just uh, to help level their, their tailoring or whatever. Um, so, and that's like, there's a full set of that. that it's, it's good AC and every piece is 0.1 weight, which is what makes it so good. So yeah, if this whole frog lock um, farming thing is not for you then that's definitely a, a route you can go um none of them have any stats other than armor class but they're very good pieces of armor to have so yeah so that'll do it for this week folks um if you liked it rate comment subscribe all that good stuff um uh, i try to release one of these everquest adventure videos uh once a week so yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you next week